Hello, Healthinistas, and welcome to my channel, 50-something. My name is Bernice. This channel is for the overall well-being of people 50 and older. But don't worry, if you're in your teens, 20s, 30s, or 40s, you can certain certainly apply the content. Today, I want to tackle the dangers and benefits of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has been around for centuries and has been used by various civilizations as an alternative medicine. Various civilizations from Africa to Asia. Now, if you turn on YouTube, you'll find so many different videos of people losing weight with it, people that tout that it's such a miracle, um, it's such a miracle elixir. And what I'd like to do today is to go through the dangers and benefits um, by going through some scientific research. First of all, what are the dangers of apple cider vinegar? Well, the apple cider vinegar that would be beneficial to you if you are taking it is the raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother. It's that stuff, the mother is that stuff that you see on the bottom of the bottle. That's full of probiotics and beneficial bacteria that helps your digestive system. So having said that, what are the dangers? First of all, if you are type one diabetic and you do have a condition called gastroparesis, this is where your stomach is slow to empty. This um, taking apple cider vinegar can actually be detrimental to you. It will make your condition worse. So if you're a type one diabetic and you've heard about the benefits of apple cider vinegar and you want to try it, please consult with your doctor because according to research, scientific research, it makes it worse. It makes your gastroparesis worse. Secondly, what are the dangers? Never drink vinegar straight. It is an acid. It's acetic acid. And so um, if you drink it straight, research has shown that you might erode your enamel, your tooth enamel, and also your esophagus, right? So you don't want to erode your esophagus and you don't want to erode your tooth enamel. So don't drink it straight. The recommendation is that you dilute it one to two tablespoons in a large glass of water. And this is per day. So, um, but me personally, um, I do two teaspoons and I'll talk about that a little bit later. The third danger is that the apple cider vinegar can interact with some diuretics um, as well as some drugs and insulin. And this can lead to low potassium levels, which is very dangerous for you. So once again, if you're a diabetic, check with your doctor before you take um, the vinegar. Because just because it's a natural product, people forget that yes, you can still have drug interactions. So it's important to let your doctor know what you're doing before you adversely affect your health. Now that I've talked about the dangers of, of the apple cider vinegar, let's talk about the benefits. Um, first of all, I mentioned that it has, it's a good probiotic. So it's good for your digestive system and that cuts down on bloating. So if you've noticed a lot of people these days are drinking these teas that cut down on bloating, well, this is a natural way to cut down on bloating. It gets rid of constipation. You are regular um, and it cuts, it cuts down on that tummy bloating. So personally, what I do, instead of one tablespoon or two tablespoons, I only use two teaspoons of raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar in my tea every morning. And I noticed that it cuts considerably cuts down on my bloating. The second benefit that it has is that it's actually been documented in scientific research, and I will include some of the links in my description, um, that it does lower your blood sugar in type 2 diabetics. And it also, um, um, it also works with the ins your insulin level. So that's been proven. So once again, you want to make sure that you are not only using this as a treatment for diabetes because that that is not the recommendation 
you need to be following your diabetic diet that has a lot of research behind it and proven to work. The next benefit is that, um, yes, it has been shown in some studies that it can um, produce some weight loss or can help you in, in losing weight, but the, the study also showed that whatever weight was lost was soon gained when the participants stopped drinking the vinegar. So my recommendation to you would be that um, there are no quick fixes. Don't try to use this for weight loss. If you want to, to cut bloating, that's perfect. But try to do dietary changes and exercise. The combination of those two is what is going to sustain long-term weight loss. I hope this has been helpful for you and subscribe for future videos. And remember, as always, doing something is better than nothing.